everyone, my name is Abby and welcome to day three of our virtual vacation Bible school. So let's start out today by getting day three's Bible point. Our Bible story is going to be all about Peter and John teaching about Jesus. Now let's get our Bible verse for the day. Let's open our Bibles and navigate to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29, which says, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Now that we have our Bible verse, let's dive right into our Bible story for the day. So as you know, this week we're discovering amazing things about Jesus' power. Today we're exploring how Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Let's now open our Bibles to Acts chapter 3, where today's Bible story is taking us all the way back to Jerusalem a very long time ago. On that day in Jerusalem, something incredibly bold happened over by the temple gate. Every day a man sat there. He had never been able to walk. Not once in the past 40 years had he stood up or taken a step. Today, someone who can't walk can live a full and productive life. But here in Jerusalem back then, if you couldn't walk, you had a hard time getting a job. And unfortunately, not many people respected you. Well, one day, two Christians named Peter and John were on their way to the temple. They stopped right in front of the man. They had something for him. And it was way better than the man could have ever expected. Peter then said something really bold. He said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, Get up and walk. Can you guess what happened when Peter said that? That's right. The man got up and walked. He got up and called on God and praised his name. So then that miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered. That's when the second, the second incredibly bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus and called on God and praised his name. So then that miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered. That's when the second, the second incredibly bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and that he had died for their sins. They told the crowd that they needed Jesus. And fortunately, that made some people in the crowd very angry. See, not everyone in the town at the time was a fan of Jesus. Some people, including a lot of Jerusalem's leaders, that Jesus was a liar. They thought Christians who talked about Jesus were liars as well. So now you have an idea of what it was like for things, was what things were like for Christians back in Jerusalem at that time. So the leaders got so mad at Peter and John that they had guards seize them and keep them in jail for the night. The leaders told Peter and John to quit talking about Jesus or else. Now, Peter and John had to make a decision. Should they stay quiet and be safe? Or should they keep talking about Jesus and get in a lot of trouble? Well, Peter and John thought that there were things about Jesus that people should know too. They boldly told the leaders, we can't obey you instead of Jesus. We're not going to stop telling people what we've seen and heard. Wow, now that is bold. They stood up and took a stand for what they believe in, knowing that they could get in trouble for it. Peter and John were so bold that it's like their bold had superpowers. Their boldness was so big and their message was so powerful the Bible says that 5,000 men believed in Jesus that day. Then that got me thinking. I know Jesus because someone boldly told me about Jesus. And now I'm wondering who boldly told you about Jesus. So take a moment, pause this video, and talk to your family or friends or whomever you're with right now and tell them about who boldly taught you about Jesus. And then when you come back, We'll, be, we'll get right back to our story about Peter and John. Now back to Peter and John. 
The angry leaders threatened them and commanded them not to go talk about Jesus anymore. Then they let Peter and John go. The men went back to their Christian friends and told them what happened. Do you know what their friends did? They prayed together, asking God for courage. So now I'd like to pray with you to end our Bible lesson for the day. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Jesus, thank you for always being with us. It's comforting to know we're never alone. When we feel like we're the only ones who believe in you. When we feel like we're the only ones facing tough stuff. You're right beside us, giving us your love, strength, and boldness. We love you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And that concludes day three of our virtual vacation Bible school. Thank you all for listening and have a blessed day.
<laughs> Welcome back to Imagination Station. I'm so glad to see you here. I can't even imagine all the discoveries we'll make today. But you know what comes first, right? I just have to ask, did you bring your imagination today? Uh-oh, looks like some of you forgot again. And we're going to need a bunch of imagination today. That's why I had a chat with my friend Sierra. You've met Sierra, haven't you? Sierra the mountain lion? Well, Sierra told me something amazing about herself and her mountain lion friends. Mountain lions like Sierra can leap up to 15 feet in the air. That's higher than most ceilings. Let's see if we can do that. Everybody hop up. And on the count of three, let's see how high we can jump. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, well, I don't think any of us jumped as high as 15 feet. Let's try one more time. Here we go. One, two, three. That was fun, but I don't think we'll ever be able to match Sierra, without a trampoline that is. Sierra and her mountain lion friends are so cool. Which do you think is stronger in a mountain lion? Do they have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? Think about your answer. Ready? Okay, let's get that drum roll going so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is, mountain lions have a weak sense of smell, but they have an extremely sensitive and powerful sense of hearing. Imagine that. Speaking of power, today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sometimes we may not feel very bold, especially when it comes to sharing our faith in Jesus. You've probably heard the phrase, practice makes perfect, right? Well, we'll never be perfect, but practice can help us be bold. It's kind of like this. You take one little step, like praying before lunch at school. Maybe someone asks you why you do that. So you take the next little step and say, you're thanking God for your food. Then maybe you take another little step. Say that you're really thankful to God for sending Jesus and so on and so on and so on. Each bold step makes the next step a little easier. It's a matter of momentum. Let me show you what I mean. Hmm, this chain by itself isn't very bold. It just sits in the bucket. That's kind of like our lives without Jesus. We can't do a whole lot on our own, just like this chain can't do anything on its own. But when we have Jesus in our lives, his power helps us. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Now, watch what happens when we add the unexpected power of momentum to the chain. that? The power of momentum made the chain boldly jump out of the bucket. Wow! When we have Jesus in our lives, he can help us be bolder than we ever thought possible. Now it's time to introduce today's sciencey fun gizmo. Behold, the bold blaster. Let's see what it can do. Well, that was kind of a dud. Let's try again. Hmm, this bold blaster sure isn't very bold. Something must be missing. I'm gonna add the power pack. That should help the bold blaster be bold. Let's see what happens. Put your arm out totally level and... Wow! All right, now it's your turn to try it. Pull out your bold blaster kit and lay it out. You should have two pieces, the green tube and the green straw with the red rubber ball. To assemble, hold the red rubber ball and place the green tube 
over the straw. To drop, hold your arm out straight and level. Wow! Now it's your turn to try out your bold blaster. Does it matter which way you attach the power pack? Can you get your bold blaster to jump as high as Sierra the mountain lion? When you play with your bold blaster, remember, with Jesus, our boldness can reach new heights. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Take a few minutes to play with your bold blaster. And when it's time to come back, you'll hear the train whistle. Have fun. Believe it or not, we've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. Take your bold blaster and put it inside of a baggie so you don't lose any of the pieces. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you to remember today's point, that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. All right, well, we will see you back here next time at Imagination Station.